Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jeanette here, and thank you so much for tuning in. This is definitely one of my most requested videos, y'all, in my DMs, in my comments, y'all have been asking me. So I decided to record this video today, okay, because we're giving you the tea. We do a lot of research before we put out these type of videos. Some of you wanted to know how you can transition from F1 visa or having an F1 visa to having a green card, okay? So I had to look up on the USCIS website to make sure I'm giving you an accurate information I know how it is being an international student you get tired of it and the time comes where you want to be a green card holder so you can access all the goodies if you're interested in this video make sure you go nowhere keep on watching The first thing I'm going to share with you is receiving employment or employer sponsorship. But once you're an international student, sometimes it's very hard to be employed. You can have OPT where you work on campus but the money is not that much sometimes you can't really do a lot so you want to try applying to other places but with the OPT you can work outside you have just a year I have made I think two or three videos on OPT make sure you check the study abroad playlist I have that in there when you are looking for employment of course you have to look for something related to your major I was a biology major so if I was to apply with OPT I can work in like a clinic a hospital like anything biology related or healthcare related right if you're a business major that applies to you find something in your major but when you are applying and you know for sure that you definitely want to have a green card you have to speak to your employer your HR so when you're applying for the jobs also they will mention on the website sometimes sometimes that they don't actually help you get a green card and some actually will also help you get a green card so there's this form called EB2 or EB3 form so when you're applying it make sure you speak to your HR about it or your employer about it usually they do give a sponsorship so when they realize you are that good yeah we got you we can help you get your green card so yeah when you're applying for jobs it's very important to know if this job actually will help you with that or not some clearly stated on their website that they are not going to help you and I don't know why please I don't know I don't know I don't know but some actually will help you too so that is the first way you can get a green card from having an F1 visa the next way to get your green card is marrying us citizen yo that process is tedious it's rigorous it's a lot it's involving they do a lot of background checks hear me out it's very important to marry a u.s citizen if you want a green card and please don't go and do some fake scam stuff because they do background checks and all of that so make sure it's legit because there are interviews involved as well they want to make sure you are really married they can contact anybody at all just to make sure that okay are these people really married or is fake or a scam and all that so marrying a u.s citizen will help you get a green card so you first get your green card before you become a citizen i've had people ask isn't citizenship the same as green card no they are two completely different things so once you move from f1 visa to a green card holder then you can finally be a citizen you have to become a green card holder before but another way is to get married to a US citizen. People do that a lot. People have a genuine relationship. People get married genuinely. Word underlined, genuine marriage. Okay, yeah. So that is another way you can have your good card. The third thing is seek asylum. If your country is in danger or there's war in your country, you can file here to let USA know that my country is in danger I beg you I can't go back because of the war you need a very good immigration lawyer for this process though I'm not even going to lie they will actually help you so what they do is you fill out so many application forms and then they do some investigation background checks and all of that they go over all your file with the help of a good immigration lawyer they can approve that's really true that your country is in danger or you are in danger if you go if you're lucky or if you're blessed so they can go ahead and give you the green card and basically it sounds easy but y'all it's very tedious don't get me wrong it's extremely stressful sometimes getting your documentation here is not a joke it's not easy it's a lot of work but that is another way seeking asylum people have done it and it's not like they faked it genuinely like for example the war going on in ukraine people moved here and this is how they can get a green card if they you know legit legit know that they're in danger if they go back when the green card lottery i know 
you've heard it several times but what's a lottery you know now to lottery you know the lottery is open it's called a green card lottery and i know people who actually won i know i know and i hear right now they're citizens as of today it's legit but it's not guaranteed at all it's like almost a cha -chana. it's like a gamble they choose whoever they want so if you're lucky of course you will be picked our countries have sent over 50,000 immigrants to the u.s and they were all ineligible so as i said it's not guaranteed that you know as long as you've applied you're going to be selected they just pick like a handful or whoever they choose or believe fits the lottery so yeah so it's usually from october through november so we're in november now so i know it's open as of now it will be closed by the end of november try you never know maybe just maybe once you're selected to be a green card holder you come here you enjoy all the benefits you don't have to deal with like a lot of things you enjoy all the full benefits you get to work you get to enjoy life really you can travel to other countries not necessarily just be here the usa you can go to london go to italy go to ghana go to nigeria like where they don't put like any restriction on you but make sure once you have the green card you're acting right because they can be revoked okay let's move to the fifth point right so you can receive sponsorship from a relative who owns a business yes people do it every time but once they are hiring you they need to draft the whole form of your application process if they are hiring you they have to let the government know that you are not even related and as they are hiring you you qualify for the job you qualify to take care of the business not because me please who me in the system no because it goes through the government and a lot of checks background checks and interviews and whole lot of processes go into it so for instance if I have a relative here and I was supposed to leave to be in Ghana and they have a business that is registered please it should be registered <laughs> LLC and they think that okay Jeanette qualifies to take care of this business they file a whole documentation because of the background checks and everything they have to make sure that I do qualify and there's a hiring process in place that I went through and I qualified it has all my interviews and everything that is another way people get a green card if you have a friend a relative or somebody who owns a business here that is registered you can go through this process and the ones that believe you actually qualify for this job going through all the hiring procedure and everything is legit then they can give you a green card to come over and then go ahead and take care of the business that's another way you can have a green card or be a green card holder last but not the least is through military service i came here with some other people from different countries right we were all in the same college i know of this certain guy he's nigerian he came through school of course but then he decided to go into the military and that's how he got his green card as of today he's a citizen because he's in the army so people go through the military way either army navy whatever whichever way go through the process go to school and once you are admitted into the army for instance you are given a green card in the future you can apply for citizenship you can't just wake up and say i'm going to join the military because you have to have a green card or be a citizen that is a requirement but if you don't have that and you have like two years of university what you can do is speak to a recruiter from the army and if they see you qualify they can hook you up and then you can go with that so that is a way it's also a reality to become military no if you find a good recruiter they'll hook you up i know of this guy i know him pa he came with school of course but he decided to go into the army and then he applied and now he's a citizen that is another way people also get their green cards the very last point i want to share is receive child or parent sponsorship if you have an 18 year old and he or she is a citizen then you can get them to sponsor you if you have a parent who is a citizen they can sponsor you make sure you become a green card holder because they'll cover you with their documents that okay this is my child i want them to move from a different country to here and i'm using my documents to cover them because that's my child you had your baby here maybe your husband is a citizen and you are not but you have your baby here your baby becomes a citizen of course and i know they change your rules here and there but i know for sure that your baby becomes a citizen even though you are not and your husband is you probably can wait till they turn 18 which is a long time okay and they can cover you with their documents you can get your green card in that way i hope i explained everything how i wanted to this are some of the ways to become a green card holder if you're an international student let me quickly summarize the first one is receive employment or employer's sponsorship the second one is marry a u.s citizen the third is seek 
asylum the fourth is win a green card a lottery the fifth is receive sponsorship by a relative who owns a business the sixth is participate in military service and the very last one is receive a sponsorship from a parent or child so these are the seven ways you can become a green card holder if you're an international student thank you to all of you who asked so many questions about this if you have any more questions on studying abroad or documentation stuff send them my way i'll do my research and then i can share that with you all i hope you enjoyed it i love you guys so much and see you in my next video bye